what's going on guys welcome back to the channel welcome back to some more bleach thousand year blood war now i know that you guys are probably saying why wasn't this uploaded this week okay it is the holidays <laughs> okay literally i was trying to find time to even do the rest of the things to edit the rest of stuff um <clears throat> for this week that i had to i was trying to get out the main stuff for the channel and stuff like that it just so happens that i didn't even get a chance to react to bleach or chainsaw man um earlier this week so here i am today saturday christmas eve trying to not only react to this but also i'm going to be editing both of these as soon as i react to chainsaw man right after this as well trying to get these done before tomorrow christmas day because i know i'm not going to even have time to react to anything tomorrow so everything is going to be put on hold until the weekend of the new year so we'll see how things go either way I'm still happy to be sitting here right now about to watch another episode of bleach thousand year blood war man this has been an incredible journey so far definitely definitely um in some ways the anime is outdoing the manga for sure um little little additions here and there that they've put in there to kind of like make it feel a little bit more alive and you know that's expected when it comes on to anime adaptations as well so i'm looking forward to it anyways guys let's jump into the reaction and i will see you guys right after for the review シニガミはその全てが朝打ちを与えられ、レンマを経てそれを己の残白島へと変えてゆく。大使隊長たちはもちろん、僕らゼロ番隊の残白島も。そしてコシンブライのザラキ剣八でさえ、シニガミの死体
体調の足手まといにしかなれねえんだから成果はいえさっぱりですわいいフォローに<笑>標的フォロー化の能力を搭載することには成功しているのですがご帝大使のコンパクトでさえ耐えられませんあぶり出すついでにフォロー化の実験もできるなんて一石二鳥じゃないか Hasn't been plotting, but it did. Subetua, whatever the ten of the weather. Gome, Casamo, you wish the other day. Sabish could take me to Straka at the Nani ten no dear chan. You listen on any more, or got in a night there. Canojoa, Casamaga, a hito queen she to Steno Ishdako, Mamoru Tamini, Tada Soretake no Tamini, Jibun or Ishdaki Mukai Rio to Steel Koto Steel. It's crazy when you actually think about, um, think about the fact that their family is now going back. You see how, how Ishida and, and Ichigo, their friendship develop, and they don't even know how far back their family go because all of this was was kind of hidden from him. He didn't know about his his heritage really. So it's like when. This it's crazy to see how connected they are, and they don't even know how connected they actually are. Like it, it was crazy. The book to no get con Yodoko Daroka. Queen see no coin, Yorokobi, a hitio dato, kanga, and none of this. Hm? Oh, yes, I see this. Bokuga Masaki, Yoroko Basetaino, Yoroko Bigana Kereba, Mirai Nimeo Mukeru Kotona, the Dekina Karada. Looks familiar, doesn't it? Nanika. <laughs> でもない大きさの霊圧が移動してきてホロとも一つでもリュウちゃん体験はホロだが技の運びは死神みてえだ あ、すごくリュウちゃんのいいところだと思う。でもね、私にとって自分を大切にするっていうのは、今日できることをやり逃さないことなの。好きたりに従って、今日できることをやらないで、誰かを見殺しにして私を。明日の私は。許せないと思うから。ファックス。こいつ死神を食らうたびに強く賢くなってやがる。よ、てめえみてえな化け物がソウルソサエティに蹴取られずに大暴れできるわけがねえ。燃えろ。
直しますじっとしててああしかしあいつを一人でやっちまうとは嬢ちゃん一体何者だ私がクイーンシーだと知ったら死神のこの人はどうするだろうクイーンシーです生でクイーンシー見れるなんてなんか得した気分だな<笑>なんだろうこの人他の死神もみんなこんな感じなのかな<笑>そうだといいなそうしたらきっとリュウちゃんもおばさまもみんな。したということは標的フォロー化だけじゃない最終段階の転移まで行ったということだそれをクイーンシーに面白い死した死神から形作られたフォローがあえて最も自らと相反する存在であるクイーンシーを選んだその先を見てみたいとは思わないか But this was a great episode, man. Finding out, you know,、um, finding out about Ichigo's mom, how, the, how, you know, how she met his dad, all of that other stuff. That's, that's really cool that、um, they decided、um, to, to do that in the story overall. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm so happy that, you know, Taite Kubo. You know what I'm saying? I'm so glad that he, that he included so many things that we've always like wondered about. And there's still so much more that is packed into this arc. Lots of surprises to come. And I'm here for it. I'm ready for, to see how、um, Studio Perio is going to handle a lot of these big reveals that happens in Bleach. Um, and tying a lot of the stuff back to even the stuff before as well. So that's going to come into play a lot when it comes to this and how they how they handle things and how they show it. Because this has been. Bleach was never like. I don't, let me not say was never. It was, you know, out of the big three, Bleach didn't get. The recognition that Naruto and One Piece was getting at the time. You get what I'm saying? It was more of like Bleach was it was enjoyable to watch, especially the anime. I, I, didn't, I didn't read the first part of it the,、uh, in the manga, okay? That was all just anime only for me, first part. I got into the manga for this arc. That's when I started reading the manga for this arc. So, for me, the experience is a little bit different, right? But I think when it got to this arc, this is when Bleach really, like Taite Kube, went into the bag of trying to pull on your emotional strings a lot more.、Um, because I never found myself like having an emotional connection to Bleach,、um, like how I was having an emotional connection to. To Naruto. You get what I'm saying? Like, I never had that emotional connection to Bleach because Bleach is a, a shonen through and through. You get what I'm saying? To me, it was. So, I started watching Bleach before I actually started watching One Piece back in the end, and I stopped watching One Piece because,、um, as I've told you guys, that like now I'm getting back into One Piece and I watched the whole thing over again.、Um, when I was beginning One Piece, I told everybody, hey, I've seen everything up to Dress Rosa, anime only. Never read the manga. Well, I did read a little bit of the manga like right after because I think I caught up to One Piece at the time, but I never got back into it, right?、Um, so now that I'm like catching up, like we're at like 980 episodes into One Piece right now, you know, and I'm streaming it like. You know, four times a week or whatever. And it's crazy to me now that I'm watching One Piece and I'm like, um 
the world building and the story that was there never really noticed it the first time around now i'm paying attention a lot more that's why i'm saying that maybe i should go back and watch bleach and kind of pay attention to the little the little nuances and stuff like that the clues that they were leaving because they alluded to a lot of this stuff back in the day now that i'm actually watching the show and remembering a lot of the stuff that happened you know in the bleach anime right before you know it went on hiatus for 10 years right so it's it's crazy when i actually look back at it and say now maybe i should go back and watch that um so a lot of things tie in man and i'm glad that they're showing this i'm glad that his father is actually telling him this story to help him to understand where he needs to essentially find his soul because if you don't know who you are essentially in this in their universe it's like not having a soul you get what i'm saying it's like not knowing who you are not knowing your heritage not understanding who you are you can't really connect with your zanpakuto right you can't really connect fully i should say right because even under pretenses right because he even used the example of um kenpachi right he even used the, the 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 example of kenpachi to be like yo even he was able to you know pick up one of these i don't remember what he called those regular swords that soul soul reapers get and once they train with it enough and understand themselves it enough they can connect with their their spirit soul thing in their in their soul whatever that may be and they're able to pull out the full strength of their um zanpakuto right so it's it's essential when we watch stuff like this to actually pay attention <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Because it's like a lot of stuff will come out of nowhere and like, what the hell are you talking about, man? <laughs> like, I don't remember any of this, but there's a lot of stuff that was kind of alluded to um, Ichigo being, a, you know, being connected with these three things. Now we're seeing where the holification came from, which is um, through his mom because of that hollow, <laughs> this experiment that Aizen been doing all this time it sounds like Eisen was always he been scheming you know what i'm saying we just didn't know certain things that he was doing and now they're showing this little tidbit of backstory of Eisen back then when he was doing all of this stuff under the, the serite's nose right right under their nose i'm actually surprised that nobody suspected Eisen of anything but then again but then again Anybody that may have suspected anything, he would have either killed them or he used the power of his Zanpakuto to create that illusion. Because we all know that his freaking Zanpakuto is ridiculously OP. For a sneaky person, he got the perfect Zanpakuto. You know what I'm saying? So we all know that about Aizen. And trust me, man, this part of the story of Ijiko coming back into his own is a it, it it's one of the things that when i read in the manga i'm just like yo taite is in his bag right now and i'm saying <laughs> he's in his bag you know what i mean um i think around that time when i was reading the manga as well as when i just started to really like starting to pay attention to to anime and their storytelling a lot because before you know sometimes you're just watching something which is pure entertainment and you're just like you're just enamored by the entertainment i got into naruto because the first thing that i saw about naruto was in part one when naruto was fighting against gara and he transformed he summoned gamabunta and he transformed into the nine tails the, the nine tails fox um for the first time that was the scene i watched it was like yo where can i watch this from episode one please <laughs> you know what i'm saying that's how i got into naruto um so it was all for pure entertainment wasn't really paying attention to the story but the story got a lot deeper um later on when i started watching it from episode one and over the years i've watched naruto and stuff like that it has become undisputedly for me my favorite anime of all time you know what i'm saying it is top one for me i don't even put it in my top 10 anymore because it's that sentimental to me so 
it is what it is but bleach great episode man thousand year blood war keeps on hitting i don't know if there will be an episode on monday they might be because um you know it's holiday weekend so i don't know um how they do things in japan i don't know if it's passed already i don't know if they're going to take a break and just come back next year i don't know how it's going to do it. but if there is an episode on monday hopefully i will be there to react to that episode either way leave a like leave a comment catch you guys for the next one man peace